Hey guys, welcome to Safi Mixed. In this video, you will learn how to generate bullets lists, nested bullets lists, and bullets of your own choice in a LaTeX document. So let's move. How can we do this? Luckily, the environment for generating bullets is a default feature of LaTeX, and it, and, and it doesn't need any special package to be activated. And that's why you see here I have deactivated all the packages which I which I use generally for my documents. And one thing you should note here I'm using document class book. Okay, this is a test document I have already generated with chapter, section, and a little body text. And here I'm generating a bullet list. So you should note that a bullet list can be generated under the itemized environment. And every bullet begin with a command item. So here I'm generating a list of three bullets with this one, with this one, the first bullet, this one, the second bullet, and this one, the third bullet. If I build a PDF of this document, you will see that this list is generated. <clears throat> this is the list I have just generated. Now the question is, how can I generate a nested bullets list that I can do by generating another itemized environment inside an already generated itemized environment like I'm doing here. This is an itemized environment and I generate another itemized environment within the same itemized environment and then end the two itemized environments together one end for this one and the other end itemized for this one if i build the pdf of this document you will see a nested bullet list will be generated yeah here you see this is the first bullet bullets list and this is another bullet list where the two bullets are differentiated in one case we have a dot and in the other case we have a dash so this is a nested environment which is shifted with the previous one uh, with an indent to the right the next question is can i change the default symbol of the bullets that is can i change the dot and dash in these lists the answer is yes but for that we would need to activate a package and that package is pi font so if i activate this pi font i can change the symbol of the bullets to my desired symbols so here is again the same list but i want to change the dashed form of the bullets to another form and that i can do by adding an argument to the item command uh, so i write inside the argument of square brackets a command ding and then again add an argument to the command ding in which i put a number inside curly brackets and here i repeat the same for another option if i build the pdf of this now so you see here i have generated different symbols for the bullets this is a tick mark and this is a heart symbol this way you can use different symbols by using different numbers for example if i do the same with this item by adding the same command ding and a number i add 70 and i build the document again you see the, here another symbol is generated and if i use the same thing over here 74 and i build the document yeah here the insert called star is generated at this position so with the activation of python package you can generate symbols for the bullets of your own choice and if you add another package named a new item like I'm doing over here, you can change the default form of the bullets by adding an optional argument to the itemized environment like I'm doing over here. 
I add an optional environment with label equals static AST static. If I build the document now, you will see all the items will be represented with steric. Yes, here they are represented with steric. <clears throat> the same I have done with this next, next list and I have left the final list with pi fonts and so we have the symbols of pi fonts. So you can change the form of the bullet list as per your own choice by adding additional packages like pi fonts and a new item. If you haven't subscribed to Safi Mix so far, kindly do it right now and support the channel. If you like the video, then kindly press the like button as well.